Hi there, welcome to VG's Rides. This is Ben Gamanet. It's been raining cats and dogs lately, and I do hope that every one of you is safe and sound. Well, that's what really VG's Rides is all about. We go around the metro for you looking for high quality used cars so that at the comfort of your home or wherever you are, as long as you have internet connection, you just need to tune into this channel and you'll be presented with very useful videos about the cars that you may have been looking for. And of course, we are once again at Car City. Here at Car City, we are complete with all types of vehicles that you may have been looking for. Sedans, SUVs, small, mid-size, full-size, luxury cars, sports cars, you name it, we all, have, we all have it here. And of course, once again, I am excited to give you an overview of our future car for today. But before that, I just want to say thank you, especially to Sir Derek and Priya Jeffrey for making this video possible. And of course, to all of my subscribers, thank you so much, guys. And for those of you who are new in this channel, please subscribe so that we can always notify you whenever you have, whenever we have a new video. All right, guys, this car we're about to feature today is relatively the new kid in town when it comes to the mid-sized SUV race here in the Philippines. But it's definitely gaining popularity, not only because of its very unique, muscular, and rugged design, but also because of its performance with higher horsepower and torque compared to its competitors. The versatility is unquestionable given the high ground clearance and it's also packed with lots of cool technological features. So without further ado, let me introduce our very own Nissan Terra. The Terra is a mid-sized SUV produced by the Japanese car maker Nissan since 2018 and is supposed to replace the R51 Pathfinder. The name Terra is derived from the Latin word for Earth, which is exactly what this car is about to tackle given all its bells and whistles. This model we have right now belongs to the first generation and it's no other than the 2019 Nissan Terra VL. Looking at the design of the Nissan Terra, this is no doubt a real pound-for-pound mid-size SUV. The accentuated wheel arches plus the bolts on top at the rear really makes the car look wider, more aggressive, and definitely more muscular than the Montero and the Fortuner. The new Nissan V-Motion grille is clearly visible and does really pop in chrome. And the projector headlight combined with LED data and running lights really makes the front end very sophisticated and gorgeously stunning as well. The way that the hood was sculpted really creates a very strong presence worthy of a true muscular SUV. The high ground clearance also conveys how versatile and ready the Nissan Terra to take on any land surface you may want to take it. The beautiful two-toned rims are 18-inch machine finished alloy with about 60% tires on them. Under the hood is Nissan's very own 2.5 liter YD25 DDTi turbo diesel inline four, producing up to 187 horsepower and 450 Newton meters of torque, mated to a seven speed automatic transmission. On the door panel, the portion for your Left arm to rest is leather padded, so it's really very convenient and relaxing to use. And down below is a very good amount of storage space with accommodation for a drinking bottle. Inside the vehicle, as you can see, we have a very good combination of dark brown and black color. And the piano black portion with some chrome accents really make the this car's interior look and feel premium. The leather seats are designed like sport seats with side bolsters and are very comfortable to sit in. The driver's seat is electronically adjusted. All right, guys, so right now we are inside our 2019 Nissan Terra, and I do have the key right with me. And we're going to start the engine. As usual, we just need to have the key within proximity. 
Let's put it in there. And this is the start button. Step on the brake. Again, the start button. Perfect. As you can see, we have a very beautiful leather wrapped steering wheel with a Nissan logo at the center and on either side are the cruise controls. And also down below is your controls for the infotainment system. And also we have a very beautiful instrument cluster. And right now the current mile age is 23,807 kilometers. At the center, we have a beautifully shaped air conveyance that look like eagle's wings. And we do have a very beautiful infotainment display that is touch screen and also very crisp and clear and intuitive. And what's even more interesting about this infotainment system is that it's already equipped with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so it's really very convenient to use, whether you're using Apple or Android. And down below is your dual automatic climate control system with a small storage space down below, your 12-volt socket, rear cooler switch, another storage space underneath, two USB ports, your gear selector, two cup holders and of course if you need to store a bigger cargo you do have the option to to fold down the the second row seats and you can do that by simply pressing these buttons so just like what you can see right now at the back the second row seats are all folded down already so you can control them using these two buttons. And of course, you have your leather padded center armrest with its own storage space and another 12 volt socket. And down below is your glove box where you can find the vehicle registration and owner's manual. At the back, uh, the portion also for the left arm of the rear passenger to rest is leather padded. So uh, really the rear passenger will be very comfortable here. And you'll, you do have uh, accommodation for drinking bottle as well. The beautiful leather seats are split 60-40 and are very comfortable to sit in with, of course, an option for a center armrest with uh, two cup holders. And of course, your own air convents for a more cozy and convenient ride. Going also to the size of this car, which is slightly bigger than the Fortuner and Montero, you do have a very good amount of headroom and legroom as well. And the way to open the trunk is simply by pressing this button here. There you go. And as you can see, you do have a very good amount of cargo space with no load lip, even though the currently the third row seats are in place. If we check what's underneath. Okay, you do have extra storage space here for your tools and whatnot. And of course, you do have the option to fold down the third row seats in case you need a bit more of cargo space, which is really very convenient to use and also shows the great versatility of the Nissan Terra. All right, guys, so right now we're going to take this baby for a little spin. Let's put it on drive so it's kind of jolting because yeah I'm pressing the brake while 
moving forward to make sure that we're not going to hit any anything and it feels like you know this car is still brand new the way it you know when i'm stepping on the brake like that There you go. All right. So we're gonna go around the parking space. First thing I noticed, guys, is that, yeah, the sitting position is very good. You do sit high enough to get a very good commanding view of the road. You can see clearly what's in front of you, no problem at all. And the way this thing drives, there's a bit of a noise. I mean, on the uh, the way that the engine roars, but that's typical of uh, diesel engine vehicles like this. It's not really something that is unusual. And of course, uh, yeah, it still drives like new. It's 2019 model and the mileage is too low. Steering wise, it's a bit, uh, it's a, uh, it's a bit into the heavier side of it. Most likely due to the weight and size of this car, which is well over two tons, but it's not difficult to steer. It's very comfortable to drive. And anyone who is not used to driving, you know, bulky SUVs like this, uh, will not really have any difficulty trying to, to get used to driving these types of vehicles so we're going to try to try to, to speed up a bit later and we'll see how this thing picks up and so far yeah I mean everything's perfect this car is really you know performing like new and suspension uh, suspension wise is very good it really feels like new. And the A-pillars are just about the right size, so you do have a very good visibility, all-around visibility, actually. And the C-pillars are a bit thick, but yeah, I still have a very good uh, all-around view of visibility. So this is the part where we can try to speed up a bit. Let's see. Yeah, <laughs> the 2.5 liter is definitely powerful. I mean, <clears throat> let's park this car now. While we are parking, the 2.5 liter is definitely powerful and uh, it's definitely much torquier than the Fortuner and uh, Montero because this one is about 187 horsepower and 400 uh, and, and can produce 400 newton meters of torque so definitely yeah uh, based on the numbers this one is really uh, more powerful than the fortuner and the montero so let's park this car now and i'm not sure if you can see on the camera i can see here the uh, uh, backup camera on my screen it's very clear and crisp and due to the Nissan's uh, innovative uh, intelligent mobility system installed in this car, so uh, definitely it's equipped with sensors as well that would help you in backing up, make sure you will not hit anything. And you do have the 360 degree view of uh, the vehicle on the right side of the screen so definitely very helpful and very convenient to use so yeah given this uh, car's performance and cool technological features definitely a best buy what's not to like okay guys between buying a brand new nissan terra or any other brand of mid-size suv and this particular unit we have right now with this very low mile age almost new exterior and interior condition and a performance with its horsepower and torque that is 
definitely higher at a price that is definitely lower, then this is definitely the better deal you cannot afford to miss. So that concludes our review of this great, powerful, and very versatile mid-size SUV. If you believe that you deserve to be the next owner of this new kid in town, then please do not hesitate to contact me right away. My number and the pricing are on the description. And of course, I do hope that you find this very useful. If you do, please like, comment, and share. And for those of you who are new in this channel, please subscribe so that we can always notify you whenever we have a new video. Once again, this has been Gamanit. Thank you so much for watching. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. VG's Rides, used not abused.